SHOT Show 2017 at CRKT. How are you guys doing? We're doing right. great. We're doing great. Uh, great to have the late Boy Scout come by again. Always good to see you and your audience out there. We always appreciate your presence at the booth, and thanks for coming by. Oh, uh, happy to, man. Happy to. You bet. we got some great stuff to show you this year. Um, we do want to introduce the Forge by War program. We had a few knives last year that came out in this line, uh, but we have three new Forge by War models coming out this year. What the Forge by War program is, is these are mission-ready tools designed by veterans, earned from their combat experience. They made tools at home, sometimes in their garage, sometimes even in their own backyards. And Ryan Johnson has been instrumental in helping us bring these tools to market. So then uh, what the good, the cool good thing about the program is, is that then CRKT gives a portion of the profits back to the designer's charity of choice. So that's really the Forge by War program, and we're honored to be here with Austin McGlon. Good to be here. Good to see you, and thank you for your service, Austin. Can you run us through the new Rakasan? Well, you're going to see a really dirty, ugly one. That was my first prototype that I tried to beat to death. Uh, team built this one, and it was just so solid and versatile. It brought a lot more to the table than some of my earlier designs because of how many things you could do with it. It had a strong belly, so you could chop. It cuts like a bigger blade than it is. You come around, it's got that swept curve, but still fine points. You can do detail work or skinning. This is the first one we ever did. This is what Columbia River did. I even like their handle better than mine because it's got better retention and better texture. But they did a really good job copying and bringing that design to market. Uh, and, and the biggest thing is the real winner is the Green Beret Foundation. 10% of all the proceeds from this design are going to go to the Green Beret Foundation. And in just in the last year, we managed to put in almost $19,000 from the sales of the Clever Girl and the Burler Axe to the Green Beret Foundation. So we're really able to help a lot of people. That is fantastic. Uh, talking a little bit more about the knife, what was your steel made of originally? What did you this is 01 tool steel. Okay. So this was our first, it's just a carbon tool steel. As you can tell, it's obviously not you know stainless, mm -hmm. but I really liked it because it was something that with my technology, I could work and heat treat and do all that. Uh, we kind of kept pretty faithful to that and went with the SK-5 in the uh, version that CRKT did. SK-5 is a good carbon steel. Uh, these are rock brown Rockwell 57. So it's something that will have a good edge, but you can sharpen it in the field. You don't need special equipment or stuff like some of the higher end steels. And it can take some beating and abuse. It's got some give. And it sounds like you've proven that with uh, your prototype there. I well, hear I you did a lot of stuff with that. I did some pretty silly, ridiculous, stupid stuff to that. There's no business doing like <laughs> hammering it into trees and stuff. But, uh, you know, when I first started working with CRKT, I said, it's going to have my name on it. It's going to have my quality standards. So before they started putting anything out, I wanted to see it. Before any prototype ever was seen by anyone, it went from Robin to me, and I got to handle it and test it. And, and I warned him it wasn't coming back, because, I mean, at some point, I'm probably going to put it in a vise and break it. But, <laughs> you know, it, it's just... I take a lot of pride in what I do, and it's not like we're making knitting needles. These things go out there for good people to do bad things to bad people. And first and foremost, soldiers and law enforcement officers and citizens put their lives behind this kind of stuff. So it's got to last. It has to work. There's no other option. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you for your service, number one. And to everybody out there that's going to be receiving tools like this for the exact same type of work that you did, uh, thanks to all them as well. So, awesome. Thank you, Austin, very much for showing us It was a pleasure to be here. Yeah, Good thanks, Austin. Right. Appreciate it. So that's the Forge by War program. We're very excited about it from CRKT. We've got a lot of great designers, and please look up the uh, Forge by War program. It's a great, great program that we're involved with, and we're uh, really proud of it. Uh, I want to show you a few great EDC blades that are coming from CRKT this year. The first one here is the Crossbones, and that's a Jeff Park design. Jeff Park has been Ken Onion's right-hand man in the shop for over 12 years. He works directly with Ken. He's made knives with Ken for a long time, and Ken Onion finally encouraged Jeff to make his own knife. And Said, hey, you need to make a custom. So Jeff brought the Bones custom to market, and that was so successful that we were like, hey, maybe we could make a cool production model out of it and bring this crossbones that's based on a dog bone design there. Okay. And uh, bring it's a thin folder, and uh, it's got a liner lock. Classic flipper, thin, sleek, very lightweight. I'll let you do the handling. Yeah, cool. Um, and it's got a single position pocket clip and a really nice, very classy blade shape, blade design. Yes. And this is Jeff Park's first uh, production model, and we're proud that he uh, selected CRKT to work with uh, for the crossbones. Go ahead and close that for me, Joel. Let me see what it looks like in that position. So liner lock. 
aluminum handle scale. Yep. Based on, like I said, based on a dog dog bone shape. And uh, there's actually a lanyard hole in the back, in the butt end of the knife here. There's a nice. lanyard hole there where you cool. can string it if you want to. And uh, there's a cool pivot. And uh, that's the crossbones and from Jeff pocket. Park. Jeff Park design. Wrap over pocket clips. It's pretty nice and deep. Yep. MSRPs. Well, you, you don't have all that information handy actually, but. It's going to be pretty affordable. It's a uh, 8CR 13 MOV, right? Yeah, 8CR, and I think the MSRP on this I think is around 69 to 89 bucks. I'd have to walk over there and take a look, but I appreciate you guys' patience out there with uh, the MSRPs. Uh, yeah, I think we're pretty comfortable. We we kind of get a sense for what uh, most of the CRKT knives uh, fall into as far as price. Category. Yeah, generally between 59 to 89. Uh, yeah. This is the Carnufex from Flavio Iacoma, who designed the Fossil, and the Carnufex uh, name is based on a prehistoric crocodile and what you'll see through this entire knife design is the crocodile uh, accoutrements and what that means is this overlay is crocodile based I want to show you this spine is based on that spine of a crocodile design cool and much like the fossil it sort of has this prehistoric feel that runs throughout the knife sort of the spirit of the knife yes I see it there's a one position one position pocket clip and a classic Flavio E. Coma blade shape. You'll also see this on the fossil too. And uh, this blade shape is just screams Flavio E. Coma. One of the cool things about working with Flavio and Ken Onion and all the other designers is they all have very distinctive, distinctive blade shapes. And that's yeah. sort of a way you can identify a knife. Um, this is 8CR 13 MOV. Like I said, it hovers in that value price range. Uh, this is a frame lock. Nice. And the way that works is you just push your thumb against it and disengage the blade. And then there's a classic flipper with IKBS, which uh, Flavio Vicoma and Rick Lala invented the IKBS uh, ball bearing system. But also the big hole in the blade that very much looks like the fossil too. Exactly, yeah. And I, uh, also I've seen a few other knives out there coming out that have uh, ball bearing pivot systems in their spring assist mechanism. Yeah. I'm not sure why you would ever have to do that because shouldn't <laughs> the spring assist just be smooth and clean? Yeah, right. So this is actually a, a IKBS ball bearing pivot and you'll see it deploys the blade smooth and fast. And locks up solid as can be, too. Love just, it. Just another gorgeous offering from Flavio Ecoma. Uh, blade length, I'm going to put that mm, maybe just under four inches. Yeah, it's around four. Yeah. And then this one seems like it's close to that as well, but probably more like three. Yeah, I think and it's and three half, eight or so three, or three six. Yeah, that sounds yeah. right. Cool. What do we have behind that one? Um, this is the Remedy, and it almost looks like, should I take these out or yeah, are we let's good? Pull yeah, let's move here. these, pull these out. I'll bring this one in too. This is the Remedy by Liang Ma, and it's got a nice stone wash finish handle, oversized pivot, beautiful blade shape. There's some jimping here on the back spine of the blade, which uh, helps with uh, grip and control for cutting tasks. And I'll sort of show you how that works. You've got good jimping here, you can get in. Also, you can choke up if you need to with your finger, mm. and it's very comfortable in the hand. Now, on the other side of the knife, you've got a frame lock right here. Mm -hmm. The way that works is you just disengage the blade with your thumb. Obviously, this has got IKBS, so it's a super good, super killer flipper. There's the IKBS logo there. And you've got a one position pocket clip, stone wash finish handle, and uh, Liang Ma has been getting really good at really clean, almost European lines. Uh, he's been, his last uh, knife, GSD, which was the get shit done knife, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. was actually a really good successful hit for CRKT and Liang Ma, and also featured a very clean look. If you recall, it had super just straight lines, a clean look, and uh, that's what Liang Ma has been working on. Uh, just really a good clean lines and a distinctive blade and nice. a handle shape. Cool. Uh, the, this little guy over here, let's check that out. Yeah, this is. A, we're really excited about this knife uh, because Jesper Voxnes is a great designer from Denmark. You guys look him up on Instagram. He's got a huge following. He brings a lot of cool custom models to, to the market. He's done um, the Snailer, which is a really famous little pocket tool. He also has some knives with us. He has actually six models in the line this year, but this one we wanted to show because it's super cool and very distinctive. This is a pillar, or pillar, and it's got a sort of a bead blast finish on the on the handles, which looks nice and clean, super simple. We've got a very unique, modified sheep's foot blade. 
And then the way this works too is this is also one where you can choke up on the blade with your finger. That gives you increased cutting control when you're working on cutting tasks or anything that's small and close and tight in. Uh, you've got a two position pocket clip here on the pillar and you also have a frame lock. And Jesper Voxnes, I, I would I could arguably be said, he's probably the most up and coming developing designer. He's got a lot of attention and a lot of people are attracted to his knives. With good reason. I mean, that fits in my hand so well. Nice little spot there for my thumb. And I, as you said before, lots of great control over it. Look how that fills my hand. And imagine that in your hand and how, how much control you're gonna have over that. Very small blade that just, there's no part of it that you can't control. Fantastic. Yeah, this is a great little knife. One more thing I want to show you while you're here uh, for your audience is just how thick this blade is here at the top. It's designed really to be strong and good for utility tasks. I mean, you could use this in the outdoors or for hiking or for boating or for really anything that you want, want to have a good, a useful utility pocket, pocket knife with you. Uh, but this blade shape is actually very thick and durable. And overall, it doesn't take up much space in the pocket or the pack or wherever you're going to put it, yet it gives a lot of control and a lot of capabilities, too. Yeah, I want to show you, um, I want to take you through to the main event now. Okay. And, uh, Wait a second, that wasn't the That main was event? just a warm-up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of good offerings from CRKT this year, but the Home Front series, uh, which features field strip technology, is really the main event and the new innovation from Ken Onion. Now, Ken Onion, uh, uh, many people don't know, really invented the spring-assisted knife. Invented the whole category when he worked with another knife company in the past. Um, so that ch that was a game changer. This is his new game changer, and this is field strip technology. And I want to show you why it's good. The reason why it's good is much like you would field strip a knife uh, or a gun. It, if you're in the field and your gun gets full of grease or grime or dirt, you want to be able to field strip it without tools. Now, what if you could do that with your knife? Well, now you can. So the way that this works is there's a rear release wheel back here, right here on this end yep. and there's a release lever for the pivot up here now this actually disengages the pivot and I'm going to show you how that works here in a moment you spin this rear release wheel back here and it starts to see the handle start to come apart and you'll actually hear a click once the handle comes apart so you know okay the handles apart now then what you want to do is you want to disengage the pivot. So when you push this lever up, the pivot actually disengages. And the knife comes apart in three super simple, easy pieces. Now you could wash your knife, you could put it in the stream, you could take your canteen to it, you could take any dirt, grime, blood, guts, mud, whatever you may have in there from your travels and adventures, uh, this knife is designed to be field stripped. One more uh, detail I want to point out on this knife is that this is a modified drop point blade from Ken, and this is a gorgeous blade shape. It also has a blood groove. Ken Onion is known for his uh, design acumen, and this knife expresses it in a very positive and freeing way. This is a really cool knife, and I'm going to show you how it comes back together. Okay. So you've got your knife in three pieces, no parts strewn about, no tools needed. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that this pivot aligns correctly. And there's an actual step in here that says press and hold the pivot. And you'll see that in your materials when you purchase this knife or go online to learn more about it. So you want to seat this pivot correctly and you'll feel it in your fingers when you pinch it together. Now once it's together, then you want to spin this rear, rele rear release wheel and it will actually tighten the handles up. Once you're done with that, you want to bring that pivot lever down. If you've seated the pivot correctly, it'll come down easily. Don't force it. Just make sure that pivot's seated correctly and the lever will come down easily. Then your knife comes back to complete working order. You don't need to take home a dirty knife anymore. You can clean it out there. That's right. <laughs> and uh, bring it home just as it was when you took it out. Very cool. Super simple, easy to use, No, m very minimal parts. There's mine, by the way. There we go. All right. That's cool. Yeah, I've been carrying it around, playing with it. I like it quite a bit. Cool blade shape, like you said. 
um, great utility overall, good size, and the field strip technology in general is pretty sweet. Let me tell you this, and this is uh, this is something I had a conversation with a friend of mine about in regards to this knife. I said uh, the knife itself is great, is cool, but what I think is even cooler is the concept that this might be spread out into lots of different knives in the future. That's true, and actually we're working with our whole designer, uh, really our designer roster, to find what good opportunities there may be to create an entire category. Really, we feel so strongly that people will come into the store and say, hey, I want a field strip knife, or they'll go online and they'll be looking for field strip knives in the future, much like they would an assisted knife or assisted opening knife, that this really can and will create an entire category, an entire line of knives. Now, to that point, and I'm glad you asked about that, we do actually have a couple other versions that are coming out this year. This is the Stonewash Everyday Carry version. It's actually got a glass reinforced nylon handle and this is the uh Tonto tactical version is what we're calling it. It's got triple point serrations, it's got a corrosion resistant black coating on the blade, and that's really the Tonto style. Now in April, we do have a fourth coming, which will be the Hunter series, which will which will feature real tree uh, camo handles. And all four of the home front series uh, will be available this year by April. You can actually pick these up now, uh, go online, take a look, learn some more about how the mechanism works. There's a lot of good videos out there including videos directly from Ken himself and uh, this is the new innovation that we're working uh, with Ken Onion and CRKT. For those of you that are curious, uh, this one with the, um, the molded handles, it does feel a bit lighter than the original. Yeah. So that's something to note. If you, for any reason, felt like this was going to be too heavy, here's a lighter version for you. This one is also the FRM. Yep, it's also uh, a um, glass reinforced nylon. Glass reinforced nylon. And uh, a black EDP coated finished blade and a nice Tonto Tonto blade for those that dig the Tonto knives uh, or the modified Tonto and uh, triple point serrations. Uh, one position pocket clip at this time. Mm -hmm. uh, we do envision, you know, there are a lot of options and a lot of ways this could go. So in the future, this knife whole series will really be able to be expanded in a lot of different knives and uh, in many capacities. Yeah, I'm hoping for that for sure. Now you've also collaborated, you started the collaboration collaboration last year, if I remember right, with Ruger. That's true. And those of you that are out there that like the Ruger brand, we all support Ruger. We love the Ruger knife, or guns. And now there's Ruger knives available. And like CRKT. Yeah, we make them from CRKT. And uh, this is the new Ken Onion Design um, hollow point. It's got IKBS ball bearing pivot system, which Ken loves because he and Flavio are really close, good friends, and collaborate often together. So it deploys smooth and fast. It's, it's a classic flipper. You've got the uh, Ruger Hawk built right into the handle. Very attractive handle. You got a uh, hole back here and, and some jimping, which adds grip, and this is a hole for a lanyard. This is a classic fra frame lock design, which I'll show you how that works. You just push your thumb there, that disengages the blade. You can deploy the blade from this thumb stud or from the flipper. And this hollow point uh, manufacturer suggested retail price is $69.99 and opens smooth and fast. And this is a slightly different blade design for Ken, but Ken wanted to do something really cool for the new Ruger knife line. And this hollow point design, which is really a classy gentleman's folder, but can be used for any utility, a perfect everyday carry knife for anyone. Uh, this would be a great choice to uh, put into your pack, throw into your pocket, uh, be able to show around, have a good conversation piece, and also be able to uh, connect with your, with your, your firearm and your uh, love of all things Ruger. Yeah, it's got a great aesthetic to it. Uh, when you first pulled it out, that's what I was stricken by initially. Uh, the bolster is really cool looking. The deep carry clip on it is very functional and great. Um, full flow through, which is really nice. And the blade shape, kind of that upswept uh, shape to it, super cool. Yeah, and Ruger, Ruger is known for rugged reliability. I mean, really rugged, reliable firearms. And uh, really, this is just an extension of their brand. This is a good opportunity for CRKT and Ruger to work together. And we brought this Ruger knife line out. Really, Ruger approached us because they really like the fact that we work with designers. Heck yeah. Like designers that know what they're doing. <laughs> exactly. So they knew we worked with expert craftsmen and women in their field. And Ruger was like, hey, that's the company we want to work with. And that's why we've got the new Ruger knife line out. Love it. 
a uh, great expansion of it. I hope that uh, relationship continues because I'm seeing some cool designs coming from that line. Well, we appreciate that. And you know what? We just got so many cool designs this year. It's tough to go through them all. And actually, you know, for the Lake Boy Scout, we just appreciate you coming by the booth and spending time with us at all because there's a lot of different areas you could cover in this show. This is a huge show that happens every year. And at CRKT, we want an opportunity to be able to show you these cool knives from great designers and from the uh, house of CRKT. Not only the fantastic new innovations, but also cool other designs too and so thanks for coming by the booth hey it's my pleasure we're at crkt shot show 2017 thanks for watching